Hello my YouTube friends! I talk a lot about tools to make your live streamings better all the time, but a lot of them cost money to use. I do understand, especially new YouTubers are doing this on a budget. I've been there myself! So today I wanted to share my five free tools to make your live streams a lot easier. All of these tools are either totally free or they have very usable free features with no limitations that you can use to really help you out. So let's get to it! According to my analytics, 88% of the folks that watch the content on my channel are not subscribed. Now if you got something out of it and you're looking to grow on YouTube or make your live streams better, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you know when we have new content that comes out. And thanks a bunch for watching. Streamlabs OBS is basically a skin for OBS Studio that integrates all the Streamlabs widgets right into the application. And this makes setting up alerts, viewer counts, donation goals and notification widgets, and even chat overlays so much easier. Now the links for all the apps I talk about today are in the description so you can check them out for yourself. If I click the plus, I see here under widgets, we have alert boxes, subscription goals, chat boxes, the jar, stream boss, all kinds of awesome widgets that are integrated right into Streamlabs OBS, making it much easier to use than just your standard OBS. So if I select the alert box and I click add source, I can go and I can turn on donations and merch and set up any kind of interesting alerts to come up when those events happen on my live stream. And if you just click done, and obviously for whatever reason it's logged me out of my account, I can just log back in. But if I just click done down here in the bottom right, I can move this alert around on my screen and during my live stream when any of those actions happen, whatever alert I set up is going to play there. And all of the other alerts work very similar to this one right here. It's definitely the coolest thing about Streamlabs OBS is the ability to just add these widgets directly in the app instead of having to add them as a browser browser source like you have to do in regular OBS Studio. Stream Elements is a live stream overlay system that makes it easy to add widgets of all types to your OBS live streams. I personally prefer Stream Elements to Streamlabs because I feel like the interface is much more intuitive. You can easily test the results right in your overlay interface and it makes it easy to create custom alerts and other custom stream elements. It also seems to deliver a more stable result than Streamlabs. You set it and forget it and know it will work and give you quality results. And this isn't always the case with Streamlabs widgets. Next, I want to include the three major browsing-based broadcasting software. Of course, I'm talking about Streamlabs Melon, Restream Studio, and of course, StreamYard. I've done videos on all three of these and even some comparisons, but they're all changing so fast right now that it'll be up to you to explore them and see which one works best for you. There are links in the description for you to try them out. Essentially, these are all browser-based interfaces that allow you to go live to any platform and even multiple platforms at the same time. And this means you can go live to Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and Twitch all at the same time if you one. And every one of them makes it easy to broadcast with guests and share your screen for live tutorials. I use them for the guest features in my OBS broadcasts all the time but that's for another video. There are some huge benefits to using these web-based live streaming tools. They work great even on older, less powerful equipment, and they all have extremely simple interfaces that allow beginner live streamers to go live in just a few minutes. Streamer Links is an awesome tool for live streamers and YouTubers in general. Do you get the question on your live stream all the time? What's your Facebook or what's your Twitter handle? Or how do I message you? I get this all the time. And who really wants to be spamming different social media links in the chat while you're trying a live stream? It's a freaking pain in the butt. With Streamer Links, it creates one profile page for all of these links and easy clickable buttons. You can add this URL to your description and then have a chat bot put it in the chat a few times and everyone can easily find you on any social media platform right through one easy page. You can customize the link colors and add a logo and a banner 
to the page so whoever visits knows it's you. It's super easy to set up and it's totally free. Touch Portal is a super cool piece of free software that lets you use your cell phone to control different aspects of your OBS live streams. You get access to two pages of easily customizable buttons that you can use to switch scenes, mute microphones, add soundboard features, and much, much more. In fact, whatever you want. You can control any aspect of your live stream with Touch Portal using the cell phone you already have in your pocket. The button icons are easily customizable, so it's always easy to find the one you want. And the setup interface is really easy to use and can have you up and controlling your live stream features in just a few minutes. It really is an awesome free tool. If you want to learn about some cool free plugins that can help make your live streams more dynamic and much more awesome, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.